I hope you're doing great today. In today's video, I just wanted to share a few questions. There's a lot of questions that I tend to share. Uh, Self-inquiry questions. These questions are a little bit related, but they're more geared towards helping you get very clear and find what you want and kind of the pathway towards that, at least initially. So what I encourage you to do, again, these are wonderful questions to journal about, for instance, uh, like you would with self-inquiry. Great questions to use when you're thinking about your goals, um, what you want, your vision, your purpose. So I encourage you to write them down and take some time and really reflect on them. Journal about each one, you know, spend a good 20 minutes answering these questions. You might find that there's uh, new insights that are revealed, new pathways. You might struggle a little bit to answer them, that's okay too. So the very first question, again, I, I encourage you to write this down. What do you want? If you could have it, again, within, within the realm of the plausible, but if you could have it, what do you want for yourself? Let's say now, over the next year, we don't need to go beyond that at this point. But what do you really truly want? Now, some people might not know what they want. That's okay too. You can put that down. You can write about that. But let's start with this. What do you want? As a subset of that question, once you have that, you can ask, by having this outcome, whatever you wrote down, Maybe it's just finding out what you want. Maybe you have specific goals. Maybe they're uh, generalized goals. But by having that outcome, what will that do for you? More importantly, if you imagine having that outcome, how are you going to feel? What are the emotions? Remember how we've been talking lots about the body. This is a different way to approach some of this. Again, ideally, we want to go deeply into the present moment, what's happening for us right now. But sometimes this is useful. So what do you want? What will it do for you? How will you feel? That's question one. Certainly if I'm going a little bit fast, you can you know pause the video, come back, write it down. So the very second question, unless it's a very tangible answer, the first thing you had, your goal, let's say it was you know to make, I don't know, 100,000 in the next six months. That's a very tangible goal. Beyond that, let's say it's more intangible. For instance, I want to be happier. I want to have a better relationship. And anything, any answer like that. The second question is, how will you know when you have it or when you're on track to having it? When you're making progress towards that, how will you know? What will tell you? I encourage you to think about not just the tangible aspects, but the intangible in your body. How will it feel? How will you know what's going to tell you? So that's the second question. Third question. Again, sometimes some of these answers may be obvious. Sometimes they're not. So sometimes these questions may be fully applicable to your situa situation. Sometimes they're not. But the third question you can ask is where, when, and with whom do you want that goal or that vision or that outcome? Where, when, and with whom? After that, re the next question becomes very, very important. So whatever your outcome was, whatever your desired uh, effect, whatever your desired outcome, how will that affect other areas of your life and you want to get as specific as possible how will it affect your work your relationship with your partner if you have one with your friends with your family with your children with your parents with your siblings with yourself how will it affect uh your, your your personal life your your hobbies your interests your inquiry the next question even more important, because this is actually where the rubber hits the road for most of us. 
Haven't really seen it otherwise, actually. Um, what stops you from having that outcome already? What stops you from having it already? And I encourage you to look uh, not just towards circumstance or knowledge base or skill base, but also towards uh, or especially towards behavioral and, um, and emotional patterns that might be stopping you. So for instance, that could be things like procrastination, indecision, avoidance, anxiety, um, uh, anything like that. So what stops you from having it already? Right there, you guys, that is literally the most important area for you to work on. Because you could have the best laid plan, you could have a vision, you could have goals, you could have a timeline, the actions, but if there's a pattern, a behavioral pattern or an emotional pattern that'll get in the way, well, it's gonna get in the way. So that's where you wanna do your work. Once you have those answers, you can also go, you can also ask a couple additional questions. You can say, okay, now that I know all this, what resources do I have at my disposal to help me achieve what I want to achieve? What disposes, what, what resources, sorry, what resources do you have at your disposal presently? You know, it could be uh, investment capital, it could be relationship wise that you have resources so people you can draw on. It could be practices you have, any number of things. And the, and the final question, what resources do I need that I don't have that will, that would help me get to the outcome that I want? The answer to question one. So what resources do I need? And, or you can ask it, how am I going to get there? Now you might not know all the steps. You don't need to know all the steps, but you can begin to ask. And if there's a big gap, sometimes there is sometimes, well, one of the reasons people work with me is because a lot of times they just don't know how to get there because what they've been doing hasn't actually worked, especially on the emotional level and the behavioral level, not just the results level. So for instance, you could, you could even achieve you know, success in all kinds of areas and still struggle with anxiety, with low self-esteem, even self-loathing, you know, lack of confidence. Uh, you could struggle in your relationships. So really, really important to start to explore the deeper levels. Actually, here's a bonus question too. So all these questions that I just shared are wonderful to begin to open doorways and pathways for it. Um, but here's a bonus, bonus question if you wanna go even further. One that I find personally very, very powerful. Uh, I've shared it with a lot of clients. And instead of asking, it's not, these aren't questions I came up with, but instead of asking, uh, what do I want or what do I want from life? You could say, what does life want from me? And you know, you could replace that with what does God want from me? Well, whatever word you want to use, what does the universe want from me? But essentially, what does life want from me? And if you ask that question, I'd encourage you to keep, if you're going to go down that road, keep asking, keep asking, keep asking. Eventually the answer becomes crystal clear. Maybe you already know. So with that, you guys, some questions for you to kind of journal about, contemplate, uh, see what you come up with. If you'd like some help, I'm happy to help. Just let me know. With that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers.